some Inazuma vibes in our teapots. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, wow, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that sunset. This is just gorgeous. Everything is so beautiful. I, it's this feels so, so peaceful too. I don't yeah. Know. I just feel like like watching it is so peaceful. It's awesome. Oh, it's so cool, but how do we get this realm style? Okay, well, once travelers have upgraded their sacred Sakura's favor to level 40, they can claim the rewards to unlock the silken courtyard style. Wow, level 40? <laughs> I know, right? The good news is that even while your sacred Sakura hasn't reached level 40, you can still gain a variety of new Inazuma-styled furnishing blueprints and furnishing set blueprints in the coming version. And on that note, we'll also have a new way of collecting blueprints in version 2.2. Inside the new Surumi Island area lies a brand new type of treasure chest called Remarkable Chests. Travelers will be able to obtain blueprints by finding and opening these chests. Remarkable. <laughs> <laughs> we can also obtain some all new furnishing blueprints by purchasing them from Tubby the Teapot Spirit or by receiving them as rewards from certain world quests. In version 2.2, a new furnishing type will be added to the Serena Teapot system called a floating platform. Basically, it's like a type of rock that floats in the air. Oh, uh, sort of like Plostrite from the Lantern, right? Yeah, but with these floating platforms, we can actually set a certain height for them to float at. And just like any other landform, we can place furnishings on it. And with that, we can start creating our own Adepti abodes inside our realms. Yes. In addition, there will also be some optimizations to the Serena Teapot system. Starting from version 2.2, we can learn blueprints from several new places, like through the Create Furnishing menu inside the Serena Teapot, through the Forge, and through the Crafting Bench. Oh, that definitely makes learning blueprints a lot more convenient. Yeah, and aside from optimizations to the Serena Teapot system, version 2.2 will also include an optimization to the storage capacity of our inventory. After the version update, the maximum artifacts we can store in our inventory will be increased from 1,000 to 1,500. Oh, that's sick!